You're doing a lot of scoring today. You're going to do some more scoring tomorrow, but we are going to cover defense because I'm going to tell you right now, if you are a liability on defense, they do not want you. And if you are a liability, you better be, have the potential of putting up 20 to 30 points a game. Otherwise, they do not want you. And even still, it's going to be hard to be on the court if you are a liability. Does that make sense? Now, being an asset on defense, meaning you're very effective on defense, you create things on defense, can take you to another level, not only just in your game, but tryouts and everything of that nature. In, in, our, in d Rob's circumstance, she is that. She gets a lot of steals. She bothers the ball handler. She creates a lot of those fast breaks through steals and being very aggressive on the ball. Who's ever seen her guard the ball? Very, very aggressive, right? So this drill may not be 100% game-like because of spacing, but I want to work on it. Because one of the biggest things at your guys' level is the transitioning from either defense to offense or offense to defense. Does that make Basically, here's what's going to happen. Give me, uh, give me like four or five high school girls right here, quickly. Okay, or 45, one or the other. <laughs> um, go get balls, those of you who don't have them. So here's what's going to happen. Basically, we're going to work on defense, almost like we're stealing a pass and then we're breaking to the rim for a fast break layup, okay? So basically what happens is this. Back up more, back up. Bree, give me your ball. Bree's going to get in a defensive stance. She's going to chop her feet. She's going to chop her feet. The coach is going to throw the ball, not to her, but either one side or the other. She's got to quickly chase it down, secure it, and she's attacking big and strong for a layup. Then the next one's coming, chopping her feet. We're attacking, good. Quick feet, quick feet, quick feet, and we're attacking. Quick feet, and we're attacking. Now, the only thing is, as much as we can do it with space, coaches, is I don't want us to do it on the three-point line. I would like us to be back a little further, and it would be great if we had a full court with 50 people. That's not happening. But work on being quick. Work on chopping your feet. Work on getting to the ball quick, securing it with two hands. Two hands, and then exploding. Everybody with me on that? D, anything you want to add? It could be defensive, offensive, transitioning, whatever. Uh, just like Tim, the last thing that Tim said, you have to secure it with two hands. You try and dribble it with one, you can fumble it, somebody else can come from behind you and get it. If you secure it with two hands, you're making sure that nobody else is going to get it from you and that you're going to be able to shoot the layup. Everybody got it? Yes, sir. Let's go. Last one. Let's go. 